Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Um, I hope you liked the last few OOTDs that I posted. Um, today is going to be another video. It's going to be a haul, but before I get into that haul, I do want to chit chat a little bit. So if you're not into that and you want to go directly to the haul, it's a little bit of TJ Maxx and H&M, like two bits of the drugstore. So yeah, if you want to see that, I will put it right here somewhere where it starts so you're able to just fast forward. And if not, if you want to hear me ramble just a little bit, then by all means just keep on watching. Um, what I want to talk about is that I actually got married a week ago. Yes. Um, no, I'm just, okay, not that I don't know when I got married, it's just I'm trying to figure out when this video, no, it's going to be longer, two weeks ago. I got married on Friday the 13th. Uh, we don't um, Yeah, we don't really believe in that. So we got married, um, legally married here in Florida. Um, it was just me and Benjamin, my husband. Um, wow. <laughs> First time I said that, our camera is very strange, okay. Um, yeah, it was just me and my husband because um, my other family members live quite far and my other family members are in another state and our parents are back over in Europe. And we kind of had to do it this way because of the way, it sounds like I'm going to say give out because because of the way that our bank account is set up, no, because of the way his visa is set up, we had to get married legally over here um, and not legally back in Belgium. So we're going to do a whole, you know, a wedding celebration and all that good stuff when we're in Belgium. So it's not really sinking in for me that we're actually married. It would probably be only after we gone through the whole, you know, festivities and our family and our friends being there and me really being in a white dress and and him all dressed up and you know dancing and having fun and eating and going on our honeymoon. So that's also going to happen. It's just because of the way the visa and all the legal stuff works that we're doing it this way. So yes, I'm a married woman officially. As I said before, I don't really feel any different or you know feel a great impact just because I don't have anything yet with his well now my last name changed to his last name so I don't I can't really see it you know so it's not really it's it's very strange just wanted to give that update because that's why the last OOTD came up just a little bit late um and I do apologize for that but I was preparing for a legal ceremony. As I said in my previous videos, Benjamin and I are going to do like a series about all the legal stuff in moving to a foreign country and also maybe tips for other people out there and also explaining our vision and our journey with this particular visa which is a K-1 visa because I know there's a show on TV over here in the States, the 90 day fiance and get married and I just hate that show because it represents a very different different situation than what we're in. I didn't meet Benjamin two months ago online, decided I wanted to be with him, asking them to marry me and to move to the States and you know get married within 90 days that's not how our situation went and I feel like that's the only people they show on TV which is very aggravating because I'm like you don't really know if they're in love are they gonna make it well you never know if a marriage is gonna make it but you know what I mean if you've been together for two months or excuse me if you only know each other for two months okay let's start there because people can get crazy I'm just saying Okay, so we are going to do a video on, you know, moving to a foreign country and tips and all that good stuff that come with that and also just our journey with the K-1 visa and actually really explaining in depth what the K-1 visa is. Just want to let you know that particular visa is not for a foreign person to just come to the States. It's for a foreign person to be legally um, engaged to an American citizen. Even though we did meet in Belgium 
and we were both born and raised in Belgium, I obtained my American citizenship through my dad when I was born, so I had dual citizenship. So that's why he could do the K-1 visa. <sighs> Let's get into the haul because it's getting hot in here. Okay, so on the day of the wedding, I actually still had to pick up a few stuff. Um, I picked up two things from the drugstore. I picked up this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Use alone, under, or over makeup. Interesting. How? Okay, that, I don't know. I did not try that, nor am I going to really try that. Over, yeah, no. So, this is what it looks like. It's a white substance that comes out of it. I don't know if you're able to really see. I wanted something to stay matte because this Florida weather is just a lot of fun for early people. Early? Or... And then also, I Fit Me Maybelline Shine Free Foundation Stick, which looks like this. And I bought it in coconut. So that's just what it looks like. Obviously, now people know right there. Oh my god, this is so hard to show. Right there. Um, obviously, I'm not. That's not my color. I use it as a contour, which was amazing the day of, um, which I also have now. I don't know if you're able to tell, but I did it. I don't like it. It's a real good product. Um, so I wore these pants which are high-waisted and they're wide-legged because that's what I want and they're long leave me they're long I'm six foot which is one meter and 80 centimeters tall and it comes down to the ground for me so I did get this on ASOS and I will insert a picture right now so you can see Also want to show you these. These are the shoes that I wore on our wedding day. They're from Guess and they're just flat sandals. And I don't really like them like this, but I love them on the foot. I also got this from ASOS. This is the other thing. It's just a regular white cami top. Also ASOS haul because I just wanted it to be a little bit longer and it's very drapey this is the back very drapey and it hangs really nice um, when you wear jeans and all that good stuff so the next pieces that I bought were from TJ Maxx for people who don't know TJ Maxx um, I, in England they have a TK Maxx which is the same thing and it's just like all clothes, uh, designers, and bags, and hair products at a much cheaper price. And it's a good store. So I bought this slouchy, drapey vest kind of thing. Um, in a size small, but as you can see, it's very, very big. It reminds me of Brandy Melville style um, vests. It has this slit in the sides. I just like how it hangs. I actually wore this and this to the mall. Very nice. Hair. It's knit. I don't know if you're able to tell. This is a large. This was the only piece that I saw. It's like a kimono with, I guess you would say, a wider cut arm. Also, the back of it, it goes into like high and low and then high again. It, takes it a little bit in and it's very 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 long and then my two last pieces are actually the same color and the same fabric but this is like what would you say this is just a regular top and this is a t-shirt top and sorry I cut off all the prices of those pieces but I do still have the prices of the H&M stuff which most was sale price stuff, yeah, most of them are sale items, so I do apologize for that. But this was, I think, $5. Okay, so here's the story. 
So a lot of bloggers and YouTubers have been wearing like the, the snake skin shoes from H&M, um, which I really, really love. So I was looking for them and I saw two more of those shoes and then another type of snake skin shoes. And there was only one of each design in my, um, in my size. So I tried them. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I also bought these pants in TJ Maxx, which are awesome. Let me just go ahead and say, you can see your white leg. You're awesome. Back to my story. So there were only one one of my sizes was left in each style, so I tried them on, but because I was eyeing the one that all the bloggers had for longer, I, you know, I was immediately drawn to that and not really drawn to the second pair, but then when I put them on, that shoe looked very big on my foot because I got a nine and a half, which is a 41, I got some big feet on me, but I'm a tall girl, so it's normal. Anyways, back to the story. So, um, I was like, I'm in on... I'm contemplating and like first world problems. Anyways, so Benjamin, he had a very difficult task. I'm not gonna lie. I put it all on him. I was like, you're gonna tell me. And he was like, nope, you're getting this one. Put the other one back. I bought it. Oh my God, I love them so much. Don't you just... So the other shoes, you probably know what shoes I'm talking about. They're grayish snake skin but they come higher so this is longer which is nice on other people's feet but because I have such long feet it just makes them like look clownish almost but these don't and these are just everything and they get the orange oh my god I'm so happy and these were $24.95 I can now wear these. Let me just get the accessory out of the way. So first off, I bought some new hair clips because they were there. I need them, so I bought them. Then I bought these rings, which came in a pack. Oh, I'm sorry. They're $2.95. These, and don't mind my nails, people. I have super long nails, okay, and they broke off. And this one is the only one that broke off really, really short, so I had to cut it all the way down, and now I have to cut all my other ones. So it's a... <sighs> Just don't pay attention. I bought this for $7.95, and obviously there are two missing, but I just, because I put them on to see. But this is how they look on, which I like a thumb ring. That was $7.95, and then I've been looking for this for the longest time, ever since I'm here, because Florida, you're always with your feet out, you're either wearing flip-flops, or sandals, or flip-flops, flip-flops, even inside the house. So I want my toes looking cute, you know? I found rings for the toes, which I'm super, super, super in love with. Can you see the design on them? They're so cute. This was $4.95. One more thing of TJ Maxx. I bought this dress. I bought this skirt. Which also comes all the way down in a nice jersey material. And with the front detailing, you know, something special. It's like a slit. It's very hard to show. Like right here but it has silk fabric underneath it obviously so your pum pum is not all out. This, oh, this was not a sales item. Well, <laughs> I went a little crazy there, didn't I? So I bought this top. It was, well, it is $17.95. It's just a basic white flowy top, um, higher in the front than in the back. It comes in these with these is just yes 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 yas then this is a 38 
This was also <laughs> not a sales item. This was $29.95. I did not see that in store, people. And it's just also shorter in the front and in the back, but it has these nice um, this de little detail right here and on the neckline. And it's just a very loose material again, so very, very wearable. Or very, very wearable for here. And yeah, it's just. I'm chunking it. Yes, yes, yes. This is just a basic top that I bought. I bought this with this. It was two for ten. I need new ones, so I wanted a gray one and a black one. After this, I got two more things. So this is also not a sales item. While I was online talking to you guys like about some sale stuff, lies and fairy tales. About two stuff in a sale. That's it. I'm sorry. I lied. Anywho, so this was a 17 is 17.95 and I bought it in a medium. It's just a baggy jogging jogging, joggers, whatever, and then it cuffs in at the bottom, but it's, again, I'm a tall girl, and it comes all the way down, and with the detailing, the rose gold details, I really, really like that, and it's just so comfortable, the pants, it's not see-through, so it's a thick material, I like it, and so the two things that I did buy in sales were pants. So I only bought one thing in the sales. That's why I got that bill. Okay. Okay, Ashram. You got me not paying attention. You had all this stuff in the sales. Anyways, um, okay, so I bought this. It's a 2930, a super skinny, super low cut. Just a regular jeans. It goes in super skinny and then I roll up the the cuffs because it hits my ankles because of course none of the pants come all the way down but I like that look with jeans and this is a really nice jeans on actual actually and then the one thing that I did find in sales which was fifteen dollars are these skinny low waist ankle jeans which were no which are 30 so half price 29.95 now 15 dollars and they're just like this but then they have the slits in the knee and then that's the end but i just rolled this in inwards because i this looks a little bit raggedy i feel like so i just so this is how I wear them. And then the cutout. I might do a little bit more cutouts just on top. Um, on one leg until like, I don't know. On both of the legs I mean. And then it has the little rose gold detailing. So yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you liked the haul. I'm sorry if it's a little bit too long. Bear with me. I talk a lot. I'm very okay, you know. So, yeah. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. I'm probably oily and shiny and all one color, even though I contoured and highlighted. Thanks, Florida. Thanks, awesome lights.